ladies and gentlemen, it is time for this week's edition of Video Game Theme Things from Around the Internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's start with the runners up as per usual. Uh, Dragalisco at DeviantArt has reimagined what Pokemon look like. And they are no longer cute and cuddly little animals. Oh, no. Um, I would be really, really afraid of these things. <laughs> like, and they're completely badass looking and not so. Well, they're supposed to be pocket monsters. <laughs> they don't yeah. really have monster like qualities, really. Well, the thing is, uh, if you're pocket sized. Yeah, that kind of takes some. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Wait, um, how, is so Gar- anyway. how is Gyarados pocket sized? <laughs> I don't know. I guess. I don't know. I guess because he can fit in that little Pokeball, right? Which could um, fit in your pocket. So yeah, right. I guess so. But uh, you can go over to insertcoinbegin.com and check out the post for the link to that. Uh, the the other runner up is a Mashable article, which I apologize for because I don't really link to Mashable for anything. Um, but uh, it's six games made in Microsoft Excel that you can download and play. Um, 2048, uh, Candy, Candy Number Crunch Saga, which is essentially a, uh, like a, a stock game based on King, hmm. uh, Monopoly, a 3D maze game, and, uh, I don't know what this one is, but it is called, uh, Arenaism. But it's like a, it looks like a dungeon crawler. Um, All inside Excel. Yeah. Wow. Um, and then a, uh, a word game that's called Writer's Block that is a combination between Scrabble and uh, Battleship. That's a two-player game. So basically so, an Excel, Excel, Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> no, a little bit more than that. All of these... With the exception of the Candy Crush one, mm-hmm. is uh, way more than just an Excel spreadsheet. Oh wow! Like the stuff that goes into it are it is, it is quite incredible. Hmm. Um, next, and into the actual uh, nougat of this candy pot of this candy <laughs> post. That's why. That's why we won the Candy Crush this week, right? <laughs> right. Um, uh, one of my favorite YouTube series, uh, Game Theorist, um, finished their Watch Dogs uh, Death series, um, and if you missed it the first time I linked it, essentially what they're doing is going through and seeing how feasible it is to actually accomplish most of the stuff that you, that you can do in Watch Dogs. Um, in the first one, they pointed out that it's extremely easy to do if you have the knowledge and technology. Um, and even the technology isn't that far-fetched. So uh, it is actually possibly possible to do. In the second part, they uh, analyze whether or not it's possible to cause someone's death uh, by hacking. And once again, they figured out that um, it's actually been accomplished already. Hmm. Uh, Let me restate. Let me let me state that no one actually died, but they've proven that within 50 feet, you can hack someone's uh, pacemaker or um, Insulin pump to so the world. What's that? The world of watchdogs could actually happen then. Yeah, it, it, well, it's just kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, it, it's extremely feasible if you have the skills, um, but it can't be done. Uh, next up, someone created a working iPhone in Minecraft. Uh, it, it doesn't make calls, but you can open apps and play games on the iPhone itself. <laughs> Uh, complete with slide to unlock, functioning calendar, and clock. Um, I wouldn't really watch this entire video as it's just a rundown of the phone, unless you're uh, brother of the show, Matt. Um, it's 13 minutes long. Jump through, take a look if you want. Did I have a question, legitimate question. Yeah. Did they create a Minecraft app on the phone? I don't think so. Um, I didn't see they one. Should've. They should have been just like just opened the world of Minecraft back up. Yeah. Um, 
That would be funny as hell. <laughs> uh, but the, the stuff that they do in Minecraft is just mind-blowing. <laughs> um, and apparently I, I said that the Mashable article was a runner-up, and actually that was the last one in the, the story. Um, but the other runner-up is a highlight video of video game accomplishments from this week. And someone accomplished the perfect Falcon Punch in a uh, Smash Brothers tournament in Vegas this past week. Uh, what happened, and it's, uh, I believe it's number two or three in the actual video. Um, but what happened was he was about ready to fall off the cliff, uh, did his double jump to get lined up with the cliff, and his opponent was just waiting for him to die, wasn't really paying attention. His opponent got falcon punched, died instantly, and then decided that there was nothing he could do to top that and just quit. <laughs> Jeez. Um, so it, it's really entertaining. So you go ahead and check that out as well. You and should. that is all I have for you this week on video game theme things from around the internet. Net, net, net. All right, thank you. Game over here.